two elk in one day. for the boys to come back with the horses. We've got all of our gear lined up. Um, I don't know where where they're at or how soon they'll be here, but we're ready to go. It's a little crowded in here this morning. Two different groups go by on horses. Heard there's another outfitter camp in here this year. And so, I don't know, we'll see. There was not really anybody in here last year, but I think there's plenty of elk to go around. We're excited to take off here in a bit as soon as the horses show up. and. See if we can't find a place to camp. All right, well, here we are. It is our second day of being out here in Wyoming and finally got the horses late afternoon uh, yesterday. So we just uh, stayed here, camped along the road and got the horses ready this morning. And we're gonna head up, head up into the mountains and hopefully find a camping spot. Hopefully find some water and uh, yeah, just kind of basically our, our plan today is to just get camp set up, get everything with the horses ready, um, you know, do maybe a little bit of scouting, but we'll see. So, so we're going to take off and uh, head up the mountain. Here we go. Well, we finally got in here and uh, we got our tent set up. We found our camping spot. It's actually the same spot we camped last year when we were in here deer hunting, um, which is awesome because it's a great spot to camp. So we got in here. You can see we got our tent set up there. Got a stove. Um, yeah, we got the horses high lined. Um, they're in a good spot and we are ready to go. Tomorrow is opening day and uh, there's quite a few people in here, but there's a lot of area to hunt. So uh, hopefully we can kind of find our own little spot and find some elk. We're excited. I wish you wouldn't. I wish I would have known you were video. I was sitting here with my mouth wide open because my nose is clogged. So excited to go hunt elk today. Okay. Oh, I'll grab it. I'll put it back up. Yeah, that we're in your beautiful creation. So we love you and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 There's elk up there. There's probably a bull with them. And then there's a bull just screaming his head off down there. We woke up at about five o'clock this morning. Uh, got dressed, ready, had a little breakfast. Um, and took off and, you know, we walked in the dark for probably 45 minutes. Uh, we probably should have been in there a little bit earlier, but it seemed like where me and Nick went, we were just about a half hour behind everything, which, you know, this is the way it goes sometimes. But we, we saw some elk up there 
Uh, we heard a ton of bugles, just a bunch of bugling going on, but as you know, everything was just in the dark timber, so we made it kind of tough. I and mean, there's not a ton of openings over there, so. But it was a fun morning. We covered a lot of miles. I think we did seven miles today. Um, Peter tired, so we're probably not going to go too far tonight, but we're just going to go uh, glass a couple areas, see if we can't find some elk somewhere to go after for tomorrow, and then come back here, get some good food, and head to bed. So it's been a good first day. Day one after the first morning on update, uh, me and dad, we went down this creek bottom and uh, heard a bunch of bugles, um, saw quite a few other hunters, heard quite a few other shots. Um, we didn't see any elk, but we heard a lot of bugles and I think we were pretty close to a couple, but they eventually got in the dark timber and we couldn't do anything with them. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of people out here. When we were here last year, there was, we didn't see a person for five days and now I, there's people everywhere. It's kind of crazy. So I don't know, it's going to be a lot tougher week than, than we had thought after last year's experience. So we're just going to have to figure out a game plan and hopefully we can get lucky. But right now, give the horses some food, get them some water, and now it's time for us to have some lunch and some drinks. So, yep, we'll see what happens this evening. All right, morning of uh, day two here. Getting ready to take off. Uh, we're all gonna kind of stick together and uh, head up the, the mountain over here. And then uh, once we get up to some clearings up there, then uh, me and Nick are gonna kind of cross over and Andy and Dad are gonna go down the ridge, I think, so. But beautiful morning. We had got good sleep last night, about five, six hours maybe. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm excited for the day. It's gonna be a warm one again. It feels already like it's already warm, but we're gonna cover some new country today. So it's a brand new day. See what we can't make uh, make work today. Ready to go, Nick? My horse threw up on me yesterday. Spotted up here in front of us. Um, they're 
across the canyon. There's maybe a bull or two in the bottom. So we're gonna get up in here and uh, see if we can't make something happen here this morning. I think I just hammered a bull. There was a, a, I don't know, four or five point or something. We've been trying to chase in these woods. And it came down this ridge. And they were coming through the trees. And it's just every, I mean, just give me a little bit of a space, a little bit of a space. Shot a bull before, and, and for me to be able to be with on this first first bull ever 
We used to hunt together all the time growing up. Um, and to do this kind of hunt with him and my dad and Andy and to have him shoot his first bull on this trip is just amazing. I'm so jacked right now. I'm going to sit here just for a couple more minutes. I can't hardly take it. i got to get back over to him. we got a lot of work to do, so I'm going to sit here for a few more minutes, see if anything pops out in the air. But, whoo, baby, we got one. We got one. <laughs> Thank dude. you so much for you guys in the tour. Yes, baby. Dude. Is he I'll big? Sh- you I think, think he's, he's big? bigger than I thought he was, but he's not big. He's not yeah. Big, Did you go up to him? No. no. Waiting for you. Yes. I'll show you when we get up there. We'll go back to that stump where we were calling yeah. from. Yeah. And I'll show you where. I'll, I'll talk about that. <laughs> I'm actually gonna lose this gun. Oh, dude. Because he's dead. We got one. <laughs> I know. I already kind of went through my like shaky like. Phase. Did you? I came down. We saw me and Matt saw him working up in the sunlight. You just see a little glimmer of elk every once in a while. And then they got up to right in here, and I saw a cow up here. I was standing right about here. It looked like she might have busted me. But they were. I think something up there must have spooked him. Yeah. Because he was looking back and forth, figuring out his cows. They weren't sure which way they wanted to go. So I just sort of crawled up here to this stump. And it's funny, this is the exact stump that we were calling on that you'll see in the earlier sequence. And it's just, he was hammering, hammering, hammering. It sounded like he was going up, but me and Matt went down, split up. Matt went down. I came back up. Anyways, crawled to this stump. Kind of did that, this weird number again. Yeah. Did not get comfortable. But, you know, if you look up there, they were all the way up towards the top almost. So it was like, there was rarely an opening. He stopped, or the cow ahead of him kind of told me where I was gonna want him to stop. And so the first little opening I thought I had, I tried calling, he didn't stop. Then he found a big one, a big opening. I can't remember where, but I gave him a little meh. And he stopped perfect, just probably had this much room and his vitals were right in oh, there. Oh, that's perfect. I think I was on three or five power on my scope and just squeezed it. And, Saw him hunch up. Didn't see him fall because I think I was coming up here to try to get a better angle and put another shell in, but found him in the binoculars later and he was down. And so I think he's, I don't think he's big, but I think he's bigger than I thought he was when he's come to, I thought he was just a little spindly four and yeah. he might be, he might be that. I'm excited and to I'd see be happy. him. And I'd be happy. I'm not gonna, there's a ton of ground shrinkage. I don't care. I'm excited to see But I saw his him. antlers through the binoculars and it looked decent, so. I want to go get my hands on him. <laughs> Good job, dude. Let's do it. Oh man, that's, I mean, he's not a monster by any means, but for what we've experienced out here, the pressure, I mean, we- That is we a good, really, that's a good bull. That's a we, solid we six. Coming down the mountain, like, Oh yeah. yeah. People that were coming here, you could tell a guy and a guy and his clients, but oh man, I am so happy with this. Look at that bull, dude. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. So this, I'm 37. This is I shot a cow a few years ago. This is the first bull tag I've ever had. First bull. This has been a dream. You no, know, I see my my dad shot a six pointer in Colorado. Before I was born, and I saw his antlers on the wall. For years and years, I've always dreamed of elk hunting, and to do it with Matt and Andy and Wade family, this is like, you know, top ten, top ten moments of my life, I'm sure. But he's a beautiful bull. We can't wait to get this meat home. Oh man, this one's for Jenna. Jenna, my wife. She gave plasma to earn money so I could go on this hunt. Thank you, Jenna. Dude, I'm sweet for you, baby. this is, oh my gosh, <laughs> seriously.
Well, we just hung the meat and it took us way longer than it should have because as you can see, none of these trees have branches. So we've got this one that fell and it's a little sketch. It looks like it's on its way down, but according to our calculations, it should hold for another, <laughs> as it creaks. As it creaks. It should hold for another 24 hours. So we come back and our meat's on the ground, it's probably okay. Well, here we are. We got uh, Nick's elk all cut up, hung in the tree. It's about two o'clock. Took us, well, I mean, we sat here and screwed around with that other bowl for quite a while though. We probably right. didn't get start till 11, 10, 30, 11, something like that. So, but it's all cut up, hung in a tree. Now we gotta figure out how to get back to camp. Either go kind of up the way we came down, if we can find a good trail, or if it looks like it's possible. If not, then we're just gonna drop down and into a trail. And it's a lot further, but it's on a trail, so. I don't know, we'll see. Um, we're pretty much at the bottom here already, so it's not like we'd be dropping that much more, but. I'm getting there. We're a couple miles away from camp yet, but we're getting there. It's been a long day, but a fun one. One we'll remember forever. <laughs> but we're, we're pretty shot. So we're gonna just take a little break and then we'll keep plugging away. All right, well, me and Nick are still on our way back from uh, cutting up his bowl. And we're right below where Dad and Andy went tonight. And we're literally walking on this ridge behind us here. And boom, we hear a shot over there.